Welcome to my new series. This is where I look at a band or artist I've never heard of, listen to one of or multiple albums of theirs, and just give you my first take on what I think overall the artist. Now, I'm not going to react to the songs I already listened to the album that I wanted to listen to for this one because of YouTube stupid copyright thing. I don't want to have to worry about getting blocked around the world because of some stupid... I hit the fake microphone. Because of some stupid shit of fair use and whatnot. So, the band I'm taking a look at today and the album that I introduced myself through them, uh, the band is Paris, spelled P-V-R-I-S because the V is a Greek letter for you, so they're still saying Paris, so pretty clever. They're an American rock band. They, they say rock, but I'll get to the genres in a minute from Massachusetts. Um, they have two albums out, White Noise, which is the one I did not listen to. Instead, I listened to their recent album from 2017, their second studio album, All We Know of Heaven, All We Need of Hell, right here. Um, and, yeah. Let's just go through it, shall we? So right off the bat, we get Heaven, which is one of the singles off of this album, and I, it, it's one of their more rock-driven tracks. Now, don't get me wrong, they are definitely alternative rock, but listening through a majority of the rest of this album, it kind of has the mixture of like synth pop sound with the alternative rock. It's kind of like a mixture of beach house and churches in a way. Like it's got the synth poppiness of churches, but it's also got that alternative rock of beach house. And, you know, they mix the synth pop in there as well. And churches does a little bit of alternative rock here and there. So basically it just, it feels like those two bands combined into one um i think lynn gunn's vocals are amazing on this album especially on songs like heaven but by far my favorite song on this album after listening is the eighth track on the album no mercy like this is a song where i can definitely see its rock elements and basically i could see like a pop punk band covering this song it's one of those those weird instances where you can see it, you can understand, but it kind of has that, not really punk aspect, but if you get what I'm getting at, it has more of a rock aspect than I think any of these other songs do, especially when you get to the chorus. Other songs like Half, Anyone Else, What's Wrong, Walk Alone are decent pop tracks, and Same Soul has another one of those catchy choruses, and Winter is also a nice track. It was just an album that, you know, I didn't know what to expect going into. I was told by a couple of viewers that, oh, you like churches, then you'll like this band. Not that they're comparing churches to Paris, and they're similar in their ways, but they were like, you know, if you like the style of churches, then you'll like the style of this band. And, I mean, once again, once I put the CD in and Heaven played, I was like, wow, we might be in for, for a real treat here, so... Um, yeah, I was, I was highly impressed with, with what I heard, and, um, I'm going to probably listen to their first album tomorrow, because, well, I'll probably be snowed in the next two days, because here in Pennsylvania, it's supposed to snow for, like, two days straight, so I'll have time to listen to their first album, which isn't as long. So, yeah, this project from start to finish really has me intrigued. I think if I had to pick my least favorite songs, uh, I guess Half, but Half is not a bad song to say the least. It's a good song, but, you know, not one where I was like, wow, this one really impressed me. That's probably my only least favorite of this thing, because I think Separate is a nice little kind of acoustic track, and Nola One is a great finish to the album. It's got that pop rock, hard rock, synth pop aspect that I saw or heard from the band through majority of the album. And this was actually ranked one of the best albums of the year. It's gotten positive reviews all over the board. So 
whenever they decide to make a new project, which it seems like it might be three years if their first album and second album but in between took three years, I'm assuming maybe we can get a single at the end of this year, but probably something next year in 2020 would be when I would guess that they're going to release something else. So yeah, I'm intrigued overall with what I heard, and I really hope that, um, that the band follows this up with the fantastic third effort. Um, this album gets, gets an 8.5 out of 10. It's nice. And the band overall probably gets a f 4 out of 5. Like I said, there was the one song, really, where I was like, eh, it's okay, but nothing I hated either, you know? So they have that going for them. Anyway, that does it. I hope you guys enjoyed episode 1 of what I'm thinking about making a series. Um, so if you want, in the comments below... Tell me some other bands I should check out. Now, if I've heard of the band, I'll just type in the comments, I've heard of the band, so sorry. But if I haven't heard of the band, I'm not gonna, I won't respond. I'll probably just make as many videos I can. But I want your suggestions, and I got a couple other bands and artists that I want to listen to that have come to mind to see if I actually enjoy them. So, yeah, without further ado... Hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you're on Facebook, share. And I will catch you guys next time.